Okay, <laughs> talk a little bit about what's going on. This is Moral Rock a little earlier today from our KSBY webcams. Going to roll through some of this information we talked about earlier just because I think it's important to note that while Montecito and Santa Barbara did not see a ton of rain, up in the hills and up in the mountains, we saw quite a bit. San Marcos Pass, 3.53 inches, 2.84 Fugio Pass. This is right around the corner from Montecito. So, you know, when these folks come to your door and say, you know, maybe the next storm would produce yet another evacuation, I think they did the right thing. When you kind of look at the numbers, it was close. Rocky Butte, six inches of rain. Cambria, two inches of rain. Paso Robles, more than an inch of rain. Santa Margarita, Santa Margarita, one and three quarter inches of rain. And Cal Poly, about one and a half, not as much at the airport. I posted a more complete look at this at KSBY.com with my weather story today. We're not done with the system yet. Continues to rotate around some scattered showers through the area. Again, the radar codes intensity by color, and you'll see that's all in the greens here, where you see the yellows and the oranges up there uh, north of San Jose. Those are more impactful. And by the way, we even had some cold air funnels in the Central Valley. Got a picture from Lost Hills of one of those, but these are not likely to produce anything in the way of thunderstorms, but scattered showers tonight into tomorrow. The winds did whip up some swell and we're looking at 9 to 13 footers. They're building a bit into tomorrow and then coming down and the advisory should drop at 3 a.m. on Sunday. Also, because we have some scattered showers at about the 5,000 foot level, it turns into snow and three to six inches of snow is possible above 5,500 feet. Here's the modeling just showing scattered showers tonight into early tomorrow, and then we'll see a little bit over the course of the afternoon as well. Very much the same feel as today. Temperatures in the middle 50s, not really all that windy. Definitely feels like March. Take a look at some of the currents right now. We're looking at temperatures in the 50s to about 60 degrees. A few scattered showers out there and the winds out of the southwest. They turn more northwesterly tomorrow. How much more rain? In general, less than a quarter of an inch. And down in the critical area here, we're looking at about that. I'd say a quarter inch on the high side. So it's all of this activity rotating around this parent low here that keeps us in this cold, unstable air that keeps funneling down from Canada. This is a look at the chart for tomorrow. Just wanted to show you that the low pressure hangs around for scattered showers. Again, less of that as we get into Sunday. Then high pressure builds in next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Temperatures warm up. We even get back into the middle 70s. Next chance of rain would be later next week, probably Thursday into Friday. Here's a look at that huge nor'easter. It has absolutely shut down travel. Winds of 50 and 60 miles per hour, and in some cases, feet of snow. For us, Again, this pinwheeling low kicks out and we start to see some building of a ridge of high pressure. And again, that's going to drive temperatures back into the 70s and even mid 70s next week. Forecast looks like this overnight lows tonight, fairly mild because we have some cloud cover around. So, you know, yes, the air is cold now, but because of the clouds, it will hold those overnight lows generally in the 40s at the coast and 30s inland. A few of the inland highs tomorrow may not reach 50 degrees elsewhere. It is going to be mid 50s to about 60. Some of the warmest temperatures ought to be down on the south coast tomorrow and again on Sunday. So extended forecast, a big jump Monday when the Offshore winds sort of return to the forecast. You can see we'll hold 70s even into Wednesday when some clouds arrive back in the area. So not only did we survive the storm, badly needed the rainfall, Karina.